Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are continuing the bunker project a little bit. The bunker is right there, it has been raining right now, the sun is out for, for a bit. I need to continue and put my, uh, my, my hose this way over that way to go into the to my data center in here so we need to cut some stuff down clean some stuff out and uh, get the pipe in there uh, so that I can pull some wires from from that red pipe over there and in there so um, yeah I have prepared that uh, wheelbarrow and a spade I have another project that you'll be seeing Friday. You can see it leaving me over here. I have a robot lawnmower now on the job. So uh, the Red Devil is, uh, is there. It's uh, kind of smart and kind of stupid. So uh, yeah, one of the things that it does not like is uh, this red pipe. <laughs> so uh, we need to get the red pipe in. We need to have the red pipe extended to go over there and that's kind of one of the first things that i want to do i want to see how long the red pipe needs to be to go in there and we'll I'll, I'll add some extra length so that it doesn't go too short i didn't want rain and stuff to get into it so i uh, found something that would that would fit at the end of it and it's one of these things for for water which is actually full of water, which is kind of stupid. <laughs> okay, so, but it fits there and uh, nothing bigger than that should. So we'll extend this and I'll start digging a trench going that way. Here is the extra red pipe that I've gotten. I've gotten this from my friend and it's kind of a funny story because I got some of this red pipe because I was putting in a uh, an empty pipe to put the uh, wires in from my well from my solar panel i needed to, the wires to go from the from the attic and to the basement and so i got some of this red pipe and uh, well i had a little bit left over and i buried that into the and into the bunker and stuff and well i um, i didn't have enough but my buddy he had done the same thing he had gotten some red pipe to put in uh, his wires from his solar panels and uh, he had a piece left over he had a bit more than me but <laughs> yeah so that's kind of funny we got the same red pipe this is available in many thicknesses and we gotten the same exact size of red pipe so it's, we didn't talk at all about this so this is kind of funny so I am gonna I'm gonna lay it out a little bit and we'll see how much I need. So a metal saw thing here. It's only plastic. It should be easy. Cool, get rid of this. So when I purchased my pipe, it came with this thing, which is to extend the pipe. So you can, uh, you can, you can put that on and you can put two pipes together. So I'm uh, very happy that I saved this because this is gonna help me now. I haven't tested this yet, so let's see. Perfect. <laughs> Brilliant. And then we need to extend it with the other piece of pipe. There. Good. And then we want nothing to go in there. So um, I have some tape. Electric tape and lots of it and a really wide one. So uh, I'm gonna tape the hell out of this. I think that's the hell out of it. Uh, there. Okay, I have shortened down the pipe and we can start 
putting it in. Oh dear, the red inspector is here. I'm sure I must be in a no dick zone. Um, it's going well. It's uh, boring, but it's going well. Okay, slight delay. It started raining, but um, well, we are about there. I'm starting to make the curve to go in, and I'm gonna. While it's raining, I'm gonna go and see if I have something to to drill if. 40 millimeter hole in concrete. I think I have that somewhere. Okay, the sun is out again, and I have a brush here and um, hearing protection as well. Because, um, well, while it was raining, uh, let's go the other way. Uh, while it was raining, I started the the work on making a hole in here. I'm not there yet, but um, yeah. I have a lot of this stone powder all over the place, so I'm gonna try and take this brush and get rid of some of it so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, it wasn't perfect, but yeah, we'll get there. I told you about these fantastic Ryobi tools. Um, they're so strong that they just rip like a diamond drill bit to pieces here. So, well, I have had this super glued, so that will have to happen again. Dang it. Okay, it seems that um, while I've been gluing my diamond drill bit uh, back together, uh, a break has come up. Even the little robot has gone. Uh, ducking and oh I found a horseshoe while digging the trench right there uh, that's the first thing that I that I used the diamond drill bit for and it, that came out and well found this horseshoe so either it's good luck or I found where the horse is buried just over there somewhere I bet you can guess where we are we're in the bunker, and I do have a little bit of light down here. I even took the fresh light I just up last week with me down here. So yeah, just have it point that way, and it will kind of light up most of the bunker. So um, power station is doing really well. Uh, oh, I powered on DC, so uh, the switch came on. Uh, we could also power up the dehumidifier, but then it's going to be noisy down here, and at the moment we don't need that. Um, I'm not going to get very far in this video because uh, I'm running out of space on my SIM drive. On my drive, damn it. Okay, my uh, my SD card was warm, was getting full, so. Um, now we have 29 minutes, we're not going to take up that much. Uh, so, yeah, um, I brought some stuff down here. I have some wires uh, for the networking connection of the, of the tiny Lenovo PCs and to go down to the switch and we will wire those. I uh, would have put through the um, fiber optic cable, but it seems I, uh, maximum that I have here is 10 meters and I need like 12 meters to be good so that's uh, I need a 12 meter cable otherwise it's gonna be uh, bad so I need to uh, wait for that so we are not gonna get any uplink on the switch but I have three one meter cables to link the, 
the different PCs to the little switch so we can get started and I have some interesting magnets here that I, I scored from work so uh, yeah I'm gonna gonna use them actually have a plan uh, like they're very good oh they're very good for cable management like that so uh, yeah that's my plan <laughs> okay so the magnet is in place uh, it goes down here uh, there isn't actually anything connected uh, solar panel wise at the moment so the power station is on its own I have started putting in the cable and at the moment it just sticks out here so but I'm gonna take one little PC out of the time and uh, yeah the cables are too long but I'm gonna figure out how to manage that might have to make a little bit of a so behind them. I have no idea if this is smart or if it's stupid. I put on a little, well, cable tie and made a little thinky. And the idea is that the, the little PC can come out. Oh, no, it can come in. Uh, come out and then I can uh, remove all the cables on this side and uh, not having to uh, to get around the back and get the right cables for the right tiny machine so could be cool if all the cables could come out and then you could do something to it and then uh, well you know sometimes you do need to get to all the cables a uh, big issue could be the monitor though how to connect the monitor on the back at the right port getting around there and figuring out which one is the VGA connection and stuff is not easy, but yeah. one problem at a time. At the moment, it's um, it's the tiny little networking cable. These are one meter. I think I could do it seventy-five centimeters or something like that. That would have been closer. It started raining upstairs. Um, well, it's almost stopped again. Um, I um, didn't show you this, but well, we left this running last time I was making, well, that was last week, and it has uh, produced some water, so um, most definitely it's working down here. Uh, I have, um, I thought that I needed a timer for it, so that it could come on and off at, at a specific time, but then I realized a humidity sensor so instead I have ordered a uh, on-off humidity sensor for it so when it's uh, in the humidity down here becomes high it will start this up and when the humidity is low it's not gonna run it that made a lot more sense unfortunately they didn't put in one in this that would have been neat if it had had a humidity sensor but we might take it apart and see if we can fit some more stuff in there uh, also, I would like it to run off uh, 12 volts instead of 9 volts, but yeah, details, details, details. <laughs> so, um, I have I have cabled this, it's just a cable from here and to back of each of these and very simple to do. Uh, I've removed some stuff because, so that I could better get to it, so oh, uh, I have that here, so I can put that back. still room for more tiny pieces here these are just fillers ish so pretty okay um, I don't think I can waffle on much longer I was hoping to turn on one of these but but I forgot to bring any power cables for them down here so uh, yeah we're not gonna do that uh, this has corroded a little bit that's not good. Have I mentioned these all power power station? I think I have. This is the S2000, which is doing very nicely down here. So we will power on the AC. It's noisy, it will stop. There it stopped. So now the AC is on because we need the we need this one, which is a 9-volt adapter so that we can power our, our dehumidifier. We need to run that a little bit more. First, I want to empty it though. 
So uh, we're gonna take this off. And then I'm gonna, ah, come on. Uh, we could just look if there's, uh, we have a little bit of room on the side in there. Seems like, otherwise it looks like they have they have taken up all the space, so eh, there might not be a lot of room in there to put in some some smart electronics. That's a shame. Maybe the bottom. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry we didn't get very far in this video. Uh, I was hoping to get the uplink cable for the for the tiny switch up and running. That didn't happen. Didn't even get the the pipe put in. And then it turned out that I didn't have a uh, fiber optic cable that was long enough for it. So uh, yeah, we need a, a good long fiber optic cable to go uh, from the SFP Plus port and through the pipe and into my data center where I can put it in my 10 gigabit switch in there. So uh, yeah, we didn't get to that. I need that cable. 12 or 15 meters or anything in between should be good um, Other than that it looks good down here. I still have a little bit of a, um, a Coloring issue over here where it got moldy uh, So we're gonna turn on the dehumidifier now. I have emptied out the little tank and It should be able to just power that on there And it's running and it's gonna be drawing 25, usually it's 22 to 24 watts and it's going to be able to do that for a bit and then I can uh, I can connect my solar panel on top to the power station uh, which usually works really well so uh, yeah but this is just me waffling on thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again next Friday it's going to be about that red devil up there which is at the moment sitting uh, doing absolutely nothing because it's wet outside uh, and that is why we climb down here so and have a really nice day bye bye